YouTube, it's Nikki from Nikki Lily. So as you can see, I'm in a different setup today. I've never done it before, but I've been watching a lot of people do like Zoom meeting videos. And I thought it would be really fun to do a video where I invited my friends to a Zoom meeting and we basically had like a virtual sleepover. We have a lot of sleepovers and I thought it would be really fun to do one virtually because I've not seen them in ages because of everything going on. And it's just nice to catch up and see their faces and just chat about anything going on. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I will invite you, I will invite you, I will introduce you to all of the girls who are my really close friends and let's get into it I've got my snacks we're going to be playing some virtual games having a virtual chat and just doing what we'd usually do at a sleepover virtually let's invite them to my zoom sleepover meeting so the girls are all here hi girls hey do you want to go around and introduce yourself or should I introduce you you can introduce us first we've got a what would be the top three words you'd use to describe a crazy Crazy, crazy, funny, and beautiful. Yeah, Aww. beautiful. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we've got Tamsin. What would be your three words to describe Tamsin? Aggressive. <laughs> um, wow, brilliant. We've got beautiful, crazy, funny. We've got aggressive. I say outgoing. Yeah, oh, outgoing. yeah. like life of the party. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I like that one. And um, then we've got. Liv with Perry the platypus. Yeah, yeah. I got some though. I got Wilhelmina the watermelon. I don't know yeah. who this is. <laughs> we'll give it a name. <laughs> or you could call it Thumper from oh, the rabbit. <gasps> Thumpy. Thumpy. Thumper. Thumper. It's Thumper. It's Thumper. It was Thumpy. It was Thumpy. Okay, I'm looking that up right now. I'm sure it's Thumper. It was thumpy. Okay, no, it's Bambi, not Thumpy. Oh, yeah, it was Bambi. <laughs> you could get Dumpy, that is rude. Dumpy, not Dumpy. Dumpy. I asked my Instagram for some questions. Because obviously when we have our sleepovers, we love to have a little chat about girly things, dilemmas, yeah. all of what's going on in our life, you know. I asked my followers on Instagram for things going on in their lives or things that they want some advice on. So the first question I've got is, how do I tell a boy I like him? Who wants to start? I'm terrible at that. Okay, I think straight up is the best way. Like yeah. his Instagram videos. That's, yeah, that's what I think. But like, More. don't do it if like you don't think it will go well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make sure that there is something like even like a friendship there first. Yeah. Don't just mm -hmm. start straight up say it because they might just be like really shocked. Maybe start like talking to them, like just popping up to them, like trying to get to know them more and then like gradually like saying oh like I kind of like you or like hinting it. If you do have a close friendship you need to be sure that you like this person. Yeah you exactly. Have to, like maybe ruin your friendship because of it. Don't put yourself in the friend zone so that's a very silly idea. Yeah. yeah. This It's the balance isn't it? And just say yeah. it. And just say it. Be yourself and just be honest. Yeah. Boys like honesty. Uh, I'm actually interested. I don't think I don't think you'll say yes. I hope not. Is it intimidating having a friend with over a million followers? No. I don't no. think of it. Every time I'm with I, you, I, I always forget. Yeah, I. That's you don't I, think of it. Yeah. That's I just think just a regular person. But then yeah. when I like so many, so many people I know are always like, oh my gosh, how do you know Nick? And I'm like, she's yeah. my friend. Because you, yeah. you, you, you don't think about it ever. Yeah. And like, a fan comes up to you, you get the sudden moment of realisation. You're like, oh yeah, she's Nikki. Yeah. Nikki yeah. Lily. Nikki Lily. Lily. So when people are like, how do you know Nikki Lily? And you're like, do you mean Nikki? I'm not... If you called me Nikki Lily, I'd be like... <laughs> so yeah, it's good. I'm glad because we do not want that. How do I move on from heartbreak and reje rejection? Focus on yourself. Yeah, up. definitely focus on Show your what You don't need someone by your side. You need your friend. Yeah. Try and love yourself. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, self-love. Yeah. Self-love. I think it's also, like, knowing that, like, you'll be okay without that person. Just also, if you have that person, life is over. Oh, yeah. also, you need closure. If yeah, someone, that's so important. If someone's, like, left with no reasoning, you need to somehow like find a way to ask them why. Like you need to find out a way why they did it so that you can kind of get over just, it and suddenly like what brings the whole life. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, you need answers before yeah. you can move on. How do you deal with toxic friends? This is the one thing I struggle with. Never feel bad 
for not wanting to surround yourself with people that you don't feel comfortable around. Yeah. yeah. That was the main thing for me. I felt bad because I didn't want to like hurt other people, but I was hurting myself by doing that. You've got to put yourself first in situations Always like that. Always put yourself first. But also you have to kind of think of the other person's feelings. Like I can their- try and like, leave that friendship in the best way that it can be. You know, yeah. So yeah. even an argument, try to leave. Yeah civil you know and it be like you can't be happy together be happy for each other with different friends you just have to say straight up how you feel otherwise you're not going to get the result you want hi i'm in year six going into year seven and i'm really worried about making friends because i'm really shy can you give me some advice the main thing is put yourself out there because if you don't it's going to be a lot harder if you put yourself out there and just try and be nice and like be yourself that's the main thing as well be yourself friend you end if you're not yourself. Sorry, you might end up being in a friendship with someone where you have to feel like you have to put on a front, which is not healthy. I think in year seven, I definitely like because I was already self-conscious. I definitely went in and was like put on a front and like yeah. act how I thought I should act to get friends. And so yeah. I was so worried because everyone kind of in their first day of school sticks with their primary school friends. So yeah. yeah, sit with, and I had no one, so I was like. I, I just right. made the mistake yeah. of being really quiet. Being nice actually gets you so many friends. And Don't it's so easy. Really it, yeah, it's so nice to just, like, compliment someone. Yeah, and it will make their day. Like, it makes your day. Someone even smiling so at someone. the smallest thing to you. It will put a smile on your face. And how much yeah. better do you feel? Yeah. Especially when it's your, like, first day of school. A lot of people, even if they've got friends from other schools, are in the same boat. Like, everyone is worried about that. Even if they seem really yeah, confident exactly. and stuff, everyone's like, oh my gosh, what if people don't like me? What if I don't find anyone that wants to be my friend? Yeah. Everyone yeah. feels like that. Sometimes when you see people in groups that are in year seven, it can seem really intimidating. Like, why am I the only yeah, one? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. But I think it's really important to, you know, even if you have partner work, because in year seven, you have a lot of partner work, don't you? Because it's... Yeah teachers mm-hmm. trying to encourage kids Make to bond. become friends just try your best to even if it's like ah, oh, hi what's your favorite lesson or what teachers do you like how are you finding your first day you know it can yeah. be simple things that can change whether yeah, you know exactly. use that opportunity to say hi or introduce yourself so that that's, that person knows you're there it's just so much more daunting in your head than it should be sometimes because big school is scary like it's it so is. scary what was your first period story we were kind of speaking about this before we even started. I knew a bit about periods, but I wasn't, I didn't know that much. Mm-hmm. I didn't know much Even though I started well. mine literally in year eight, and I went and told my mum. Did you feel comfortable I, telling her? Um, I didn't really think I started my period. Mm. But I get, you have to tell your mum, like, there's no way that you can't yeah. tell yeah, yeah, or anyone in your family that like, you've got to tell someone. And I took the day off school because I was actually traumatized by it. I didn't really. Yeah, know it what is. It's doing. really scary. It was. It, it was. It was so daunting to me that like, the whole idea of it. What are your tips on when you're on your period, like coping with being on your period? I get really bad cramps yeah. and hot water bottles are like. Your yeah, hot water. Yeah. I got mine right here. Where is it? No, um, the so unicorn. Sure, yeah. His name's Elvis because he looks like I Elvis have... Presley. Oh yeah. No, like, my hot baths, like <gasps> oh, they're bath. really good. Yeah, no, it's they're good for terrible. like in like pain inside your body. Yeah, inside. Well. I always get greasy scalp, but it depends on whether I get pains or not. If I do get pains, they're bad. Oh, I haven't washed my hair in over a week. It's disgusting. We love no, that for you. Yeah. I've washed my hair in a few months. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think <laughs> you win. <laughs> Something that's proven to like be quite good is like doing some exercise really helps with cramps. Yeah, I think my periods are lighter because I exercise a lot. Yeah. I think if you, I think they even get lighter. It reduces cramps. It reduces stress. Exercise is key, lads. Oranges really help. That's come out of nowhere. <laughs> this has actually been so nice. Us just being able to like chat about things that we chat about, but like things that we don't yeah. think of it's- unless they arise. So me and the girls. I'm gonna do a face mask. Oh my gosh, this is so cold. Why is it cold? Oh my gosh, I think I went up my nose. <laughs> this is dried out, I'm not gonna lie. I went through this. My face mask is so unevenly applied. Oh my gosh. I put nothing here. <laughs> <laughs>
Guys, I have to the center of my head. <laughs> now we're basically playing a game because you can send each other the same link and go into the same game and play together. We've never played this one before though. It's like matching things up. Okay, right. How is it? Is it literally just like flip a card and try and get one that's the same? <gasps> oh, you got six. I got six. six. Does that work? <laughs> Should we just let it work? No, it doesn't work. Don't cheat. And Lenny, you stealing my cards? <laughs> Lynn, why are you geeky? Why are you being geeky? <laughs> Every time we play a game with a Lynn, she always messes up the game. Geeky. <laughs> <laughs> this just is not working out. This game is not working out, is it? No. Hi. Let's play a new game, right? <laughs> Whoever can, can flip over the most in a minute wins. Three. Well, Olivia, way. we all had a head start. Ha -ha. So, be a loser, I keep right? the, the wrong way. Yeah, that's winner. fine. You just have to flip them over. It doesn't matter if they're wrong or right. How do you know who's doing what? I don't know. Right. <laughs> so, I'm going to take my face mask off, and me and the girls are going to go to bed because it's got quite late, and then we'll be back in the morning. Bye, girls. Bye. So we have just woken up. It's the day after. Girls, thank you so much for being in this video. Thank you for having us. It's been so fun. I know it's been a bit different to my usual videos, but I've really enjoyed it. And it's actually nice being able to, to film a video with you when you're actually not here. Like, you yeah. know, it's cute that we can yeah. do things like this now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And stay tuned for my next video. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. Love you. <laughs>